The fight to access $149 million from the government between MDCT leaders Thokazani Koop and Douglas Munzara has spilled into the courts with the former deputy prime minister insisting that she was the rightful recipient of the money under the political party's Finance Act. This was after Munzara declared himself the leader of the MDC alliance, which resulted in Koop claiming the MDCT leadership. Koop has now approached the high court claiming that she is the MDCT president and on that basis must get $149 million from the government. She is now seeking an interdict to prohibit the government from disbursing $149,850,000 due to Munzora's faction in terms of the political parties, Finance, Act, Chapter 211, to any other political party or person. According to an Extraordinary Government Gazette published last week, ZANU-PF received $350 million and the MDCT got $149 million under the Act. First respondent cannot lawfully receive the $149,850,000 it being the money due to the second applicant in terms of Section 3, 2, of the Political Parties, Finance, Act, her application read. It would be a travesty of justice if first respondent, who is the leader and president of a different political party, would receive and superintend over finances of the MDCT after opting out of it. It would be in the interest of justice that the disbursement of funds due to the MDCT be channeled to the MDCT and that Munzara be interdicted from receiving the same on behalf of MDCT. She said the MDC alliance was not entitled to receive the $149 million as per the political party's Finance Act.